Hi guys, I'm back with another Project Life Process video. Um, this video is specifically a photo shoot that Rigo and I did back in April. Um, as you can see, I'm still trying to catch up on my Project Life. But um, we started a tradition where we take uh, or we do a photo shoot every year a few days before our anniversary. Um, so this happened to be, I believe, the Saturday before April 14th. Um, so I've kind of already, you know, looked at my photos and kind of know where I want things to go. And so I end up putting that black and white photo in the center. Um, one, because it separates the two color photos on top and the bottom. And then two, because um, the top and bottom photo kind of have the same thing uh, going on, which is us holding hands and looking back. And I kind of wanted to separate that. So um, that's why I chose it. But it didn't end up working so well just because the center of the black and white photo ends up being my face. And so when I cut it and placed it in the pocket, it didn't look too well. Um, it didn't align well. And there was just um, too much space in between, so it looks kind of funky. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. And if I, you know, as I'm reviewing my album, if I decide that I really don't like it, I'll just reprint it and um, move around some photos. But, you know, we make mistakes and we learn. So um, my lesson here is not to cut through someone's face. Um, so... I end up picking those two filler cards and then I end up coming back later to that. Um, and then moving on to the left side of the spread, uh, as you can see on the right side, there's two four by six photos. Um, the page protector is a Becky Higgins Design B and I just cut um, the extra or the excess so I could just have room for um, the two four by six photos. And so um, I end up, I know there's another design that has the actual 4x6 on the top and the bottom, but, um, it, the, the openings are on the sides and I don't have a tool to actually close the page protector. So, um, it, this is why I went with design B. But um, those two smaller slots are not exactly, or they're bigger than the 4x6 photos. So I decided to put some green paper that I just have from a pad, uh, pack of paper that I bought at Michael's. And I end up putting it um, as a background because I know that the 4x6 photo won't um, fill up the entire two two pockets and so I cut that in half and um, as you will see in a sec there's a uh, camera uh, cardstock that I cut and put there and I end up not liking that anymore just because I thought it was too busy so I end up using the same piece of green paper cutting it and stamping happy with you which is a stamp set from Kelly Perky so um, simple trying to keep it simple for this layout and so I go back um, and I add this love sticker, a pink sticker, um, to that one photo. And I really liked it because um, the pink really pops since it's a black and white photo. Um, and then um, this layout actually took me a lot longer than expected. I was trying to keep it simple and clean. Um, but it took me a, a while. So now I move on and I create my own filler card there using a Heidi Swap, I believe, stickers. That's her packet right there. And um, I like the I love us, I heart us. So I end up using that. End up grabbing a green cardstock from my stash, which I thought kind of matched the green, the green in the photos that we have. As you can see, it's kind of bent already because I was trying to force it into the pocket and it was too wide. So I ended up sticking that on with uh, another heart and then a, a green star, I believe. Yes. And um, I really liked how I, this card turned out. Um, um, but it wasn't, I thought it was my favorite, but it ends up not being my favorite. It's my second favorite out of the whole spread. So. Um, moving on, I end up picking two other cards um, for filler cards um, in those two pockets. 
And um, they weren't, you know, too exciting, but I wanted to keep it simple. And so with this card, I end up using the Maggie Holmes sticker set that I've been using in my last two videos. Um, you will know that um, if you saw them, that I've been trying to use it up a lot because uh, the stickers tend to fall off. So it says, love you forever on there. And so here, um, my camera had died, but I had found a cardstock, a 12 by 12 cardstock, and I cut a piece of it, and I love, 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 love this design. I ended up, uh, I believe I got it from my scrapbook kit a while back, and I ended up putting Maggie Holmes stickers saying, so glad to be together, laughter and love, but if you're interested, um, if that cardstock is from Fancy Pants Design. It's item 2457. So I really loved it. I thought it went really well with the layout. Um, it was my favorite. So, And then I end up putting um, two hearts, a nano, a nano dots. I don't know if I'm ever saying that right, but um, on there. And then kind of just looking to see, you know, if there's anything... I should be adding so I move on to this title card which is a Kelly Perky uh, card that I got from one of her kids I really like it because it has um, kind of a dark red and you know kind of fades into pink and since the theme for our photo shoot was the redwood trees um, I thought it went well I end up putting uh, April 14th which are thickers from American crafts I believe the set is called Twilight. So, and then the last thing I do here is on that Cherish card, which is from Becky Higgins, um, stand, you know, one of those kits that she has um, that I'm trying to use up. I end up stamping um, using a Becky Higgins stamp that I got a while back. I think it was on sale, and I'm using Kelly Perky ink. Oh, yeah, and it says the best is yet to come. And I really love how this turned out because on that same stamp, um, there's uh, designs that you can use so I end up stamping one on top and at the bottom and I was trying to go for like a messy um, you know look and it um, it almost looks like I was trying to make it perfect but um, I wasn't but I, I liked how that turned out as well so overall um, I'm, I'm happy besides that one photo where I cut my face um, I really liked uh, everything about this, and I'm um, just showing you how it looks in the album. Um, and then f here are the photos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. Bye.